Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about next event. What is that condition event? Okay, so let's see what are the events are there actually. So we have start event, end event, message start event, timer start event, conditional start event, signal start event, right? Now we are going to discuss about conditional start event. In the last video, we discussed about message start event. So now we are going to discuss about conditional start event, okay? So what is conditional start event? It is very simple, okay? You can understand from the naming itself. So if the specific condition is true, okay, it can start the process. If the specific condition is false, we cannot start the process, okay? So that's it, okay? Let's see in real time example, okay? So let me change this one into conditional start event and I'm going to create a user task and I'm going to ending up with the user task, okay? Let me tell you one small example, okay? If the age is greater than eight, greater than or equal to 18, okay? If the guy is adult, then I, I am allowing to create a process, okay? So if it is adult only, then he can, what is that? He can uh, do the user task or whatever it may be, okay? So adult task, let, let me give it the name, okay? So let me make this as user task, okay? so here right so if you click the conditional start event you can see right side the, in the properties panel you can see the variable name uh, condition type expression as well as yeah that's all initiator you are seeing that's fine so these are the three fields you can see right now i'm going to use the variable name as age okay expression i'm going to use script okay script format let me use the javascript okay script type you can as of now i'm going with the inline script okay the what is the script i'm going to give it out age greater than greater than 17 okay great or greater than or equal to 18 in that case i'm just allowing that's all okay in that case only we can able to create the task uh, we can start the process and it will create the task and it will end up the flow okay so hope you are clear right so let me save this okay so now let me start the, let me deploy this into our application okay let me refresh you can see the conditional start event let me start the application okay so hope this is fine right so the if the condition is satisfied if the whenever i'm passing the variable if it is greater than 18 I'm just allowing that, okay? I'm, I'm trying to allow to create a task for the adult task, okay? Okay, so now after, yeah, it time started. Now, how I can trigger that API? Let me go to the documentation part, okay? So just search with Kamunda REST API, maybe, okay? So there, okay, so the REST API documentation, Let's go with the latest version 7.16. Okay. From there, you can see the condition in the website, right? If you evaluate this actually. So, okay. So, this is the post method they are giving it out. Okay. So, for the message start event, if you remember, so we have a message. Now, as it is a condition start event, we need to give here as a condition. Okay. Let me create a new task. Okay. Uh, what I will do? Let me save this and let me duplicate it this one so let me rename it rename it what is that condition start event okay fine right so here what is based on the let me follow the documentation i'm just copy this condition i'm just pasting here okay yeah that's fine okay so now let me go to the documentation let me take the sample payload if you see here this is the payload okay so sample payload that's fine just copy this let paste it here and let's modify based on our requirement so we don't want to worry about the business key and the tenant id okay so there is a two variables one is temperature and city don't worry about it let's remove completely one variable so we need to worry about only one variable right so that is age correct okay so the variable is age yes okay so then what is that next step so the variable type i make it as string and the value okay so 
with this condition type is script and js in my script age greater than or equal to 18 okay that's fine okay so the type string instead of that yeah you can keep it string no let me give it as integer okay okay so the value let me give it as here what value we can give it out let me give 20 in this case it has to create a process correct let me okay clear the log already and let me log in my command before that so that it will be very understandable for us okay as of no task okay let me hit this api see it is returning the response so it means that it is created task with id as this one let's go and refresh the page see i can able to see so so in this use case our what is that condition is satisfying if i am giving values 20 then obviously it will the condition is satisfied the condition is true right let me give less than 18 and let's try it out right so that is also good try right so that we can see the negative scenario let me give it a 17 okay let me hit this when i am hitting right you just see carefully when i am hitting as of now the 200 as well as the one response right so we can able to see the one response when i hitting with 17 see 200 but there is no response it means the process is not started okay let me go and refresh this screen again still the only one task which is created for the 20 age right so now i can claim this task and i can complete it okay but if i giving greater than 80 25 i can create the task okay but if i giving less than 20 10 15 i cannot it will give it empty maybe let me give it a 5 so obviously it is empty right hope you are understanding right so what conditional task is so when the condition is satisfied then it will allow to start the process okay that is called conditional start event okay that's all guys hope you understood right thanks for watching bye bye